じゃるかお前らにはどいてもらう Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Where today, guys, I am back on One Piece Banner Rush to bring you guys another gameplay video. Where today, guys, I'm gonna do gameplay on my five star boost to the most offensive man in the world, Sentamaru. This guy is brilliant. Sentamaru is an amazing defender right now in the meta, especially now since he got Rogers running around, making league and the tons of treasure. As Sentamaru has the ability to put a stop to Roger, since he has the ability to inflict Capture Block. Which, for those who don't know, Capture Block is, is a status effect that prevents enemies from grabbing your flag. And you can see how that you just put a stop to Roger. Again, this Sentamaru is really good. However, I will say that he has a one big flaw, and that flaw is his damage. Sentamaru doesn't really do a lot of damage when it comes to fighting people. So... I would say when it comes to like defending your flag, don't really expect to kill the person. Just hold them off, prevent them from grabbing your flag, and if they get annoyed enough, they might just leave you alone entirely. However, you can deal some damage. I just, you're just not going to deal a lot of damage. <laughs> so, yeah, again, if you have some tomorrow, get him five star or six star, whatever. This guy is really good in the meta. I think it's best to go into the metal skills and traits to see what this guy is capable of and dominate league battle. So, for metal skills, I'm going to be rocking. We're going to be rocking Kaido Metal and Conquerors of Three Worlds Raikanaku Metal. Provide me some skill one, a cool, <laughs> skill one and two cooldown reduction speed, dodge cooldown capture speed. When I'm attacked by the enemy, I get a skill one cooldown by 2%. When we are losing, I increase my damage by 7%. When allies are not near the treasure that I'm at, I reduce damage received by 7%. And when you capture a treasure, reduce the cooldown time of skill 1 by 8%. This is a traditional Kaido metal set. For stats, we are focusing on HP and attack, because as I said before, Sento doesn't, Sento doesn't do a lot of damage, so make sure to put attack on. And we have HP there, because he's a defender. We want them to last a long time. Care to boost is fully boosted too, as per usual. Let's move on to the skills, shall we? Skill 1, you're all under arrest. This is a mid-range area attack with a knockback effect that has a chance to inflict capture block. The chance is 100% and capture block lasts for 25 seconds. This skill has a 19 second cooldown. So if you're pairing it with the Kaido Metal, yeah, you're going to be spamming skill 1 a lot. I mean, you're going to see in the video and gameplay videos, the, the cooldown is insanely fast for this skill. There's not much to say about it. That's all it is. It's a mid-range area attack with a knockback effect. Skill 2. Ha. This is a close-range area attack counter is it's your traditional counter i guess you can say so when centimar activates this counter you will obviously be in the counter state and if you attack centimar while he's in this state not only will you deal a knockback effect and heal this will also inflict capture block capture block lasts for 25 seconds this will also inflict a speedy buff that lasts for 30 percent that's 30 percent and lasts for 20 seconds if the counter fails, Sentamaru will just heal and he won't do anything else. This skill has a 34 second cooldown. Um, here's a little tip for you for you um, Sentamaru players out there. Not a lot of people actually know this about Sentamaru, but I think some people do as they take advantage of it. But when Sentamaru at the base is counter, he actually stomps his feet on the ground and that actually deals damage. So let's say for instance, Roger's grabbing your flag or something. If you walk up to him and then do skill two, Sentamaru stomping his feet will activate Roger's little stun effect thing and it'll just activate his counter and I think you'll know what happens there. So yeah, keep that in mind when playing Sentamaru. I'd be taking advantage of it because not a lot of people know it. <laughs> uh, let's move on to the traits, shall we? Character traits. When attacking a Straw Hat Pirate, you increase your damage by 30%. So you guys know the straw hat pirates like gear five only oh gosh mazoro those are like the main two you're going to be seeing in league so yeah this is a pretty helpful trait to help you fight those guys so yeah when dealing down uh, when dealing damage with the third head of your normal attack you have a you have 100 chance to inflict capture block for 25 seconds so this is really good overall if you don't have access to your skills just hit them with the third head of your normal attack and bam no more capping flags for you when your HP is 70% or more, you can charge a Treasure Cage past 100%, so 150%, and you recover 50% of percent damage received from enemies. So, 
what this is saying is that you guys know Rogers Kamu Suri. You know when he throws it out, it does half your health. Yeah, if Sentamaru gets hit by that, he will heal back his HP the damage he, that it dealt. It won't give you back all the HP, just most of it. So this is an overall really helpful trait. When you knock back an enemy, you recover 15% HP and you remove the enemy's defense increase. So this is good for characters like Claw and Gear 5 because you can get rid of the defense stacks. Really helpful for taking them out. Trait 1. When in the air after capture treasure, reduce damage received by 30% and resist stagger and not back. So a really good defender metal, I mean a defender trait. I think every defender should have this trait as it, that's the meta nowadays with defenders. When enemies are inflicted with capture block, you increase your defense by 20% for 7 by you increase your defense by 20%, max is 70%, and obviously it will go away once you're KO'd. So this is how Sentamaru becomes tanky. He stacks his defense by inflicting by inflicting counter block. Keep in mind, counter block, he can inflict it by third hit of his normal, both skills, so you can get your defense stacks really easily. Trait 2. When knocking back an enemy around your counter treasure, reduce the cooldown time of your skill 2 by 50% and reduce the enemy's attack by 30% for 20 seconds. So let's say for instance you knock someone back with your skill 1 or you knock back people with your counter. Sentamaru, if he doesn't have access to his counter already, he will, he will just get it back instantly, like right there on the spot. Can catch people off guard when they don't expect it. Yeah, I caught a lot of people off guard with a counter. And you'll see in the gameplay, you do get your counter back ridiculously fast. Anyway, so yeah. And reducing the enemy's attack by 30% is a huge difference. That is a, that's really big. I'm surprised they even made it that high. I expected it to be 20 or 10%, but <laughs> nope, 30%. Why not, right? And last but not least, when attack <laughs> voice crack, when attacked by an enemy with the element that you are strong against, you nullify status effects and you remove the enemy's attack increase. So what this is saying is that if a green or dark element hits Sentamaru, not only will their status effects have no effect on them, like like Parasparrow's Candy Man, um, Shanks. Shanks' this little stun effect thing, Gear 5 shocking you, Kaido's anti-heal. Stats effects like that, they have no effect on Sentamaru since they're green. And Dark Roger can't stun you since, you know, he's, he's the element he's strong against. And removing the enemy's attack increase is really good for characters like Green Attacker Roger that stacks his attack off landing Kamusuri. Sentamaru will just get rid of that if he gets hit. You'll see in the gameplay that sent that Kamusuri will do nothing against Sentamaru. Um and characters like Film Red Shanks can't really do much either since get rid of their attack stacks. So yeah though guys that's Sentamaru for you. This guy is a really good defender. If you have him definitely get him five star. He will definitely carry in league if you are a defender man like myself. Let's move on to the support, shall we? We are rocking 156.8% support with the Straw Hat Pirates, Paramecia, and New World tag. I don't really have many tags activated as my red support isn't really the best. But hey, I'm working with what I got, okay? So I hope you guys do enjoy the video. If you do, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And I'll see you guys next video, all right? Peace out, everybody.
見せてやる。Yeah. <laughs> 